the godless of your story is much deeper. She came home and she said all her friends drank and got drunk, but ugh, alcohol is yucky, it's disgusting, and beer is disgusting. And she came home, instead of being with all her kids her age that show her acceptance, girls and boys who are having fun, she chose to come home early to be with her parents. This is what the miracle of TP is. You kept her safe and out of danger. But listen to this. Ask those other boys and girls, do you like alcohol? Does it taste good to you? They also think it's uck, yuck, disgusting. Nobody likes it. But they don't have an option. So you got to force it down and force it down and they make that face. These are little kids. These are 14-year-olds. They don't want to do drugs and they don't want to do alcohol, but they don't have a choice. They're in so much pain. They, they want to get to the feeling of after the third and fourth and fifth shot so they don't have to feel anymore because they don't have a home to go to because at home, my nefesh feels worse because there I got to deal with my own parents looking at me and crying. Where were you? Again? My mommy's crying by the, by the nearest for two hours. And my father's angry at me. And every, you're killing the family. and all. I can't go home. So I can't go home. I don't have a school. I can't function. I have to numb my pain because I can't live like this. So what are my choices? Either I drink until I don't feel how yucky it is so I don't have to taste anything. Are you guys drunk already? <laughs> right? Or, well, yeah, or, or, right, we should, <laughs> or I got to cut myself so I don't feel the pain, or I got to get it, I got to do something sitting with pain in your head day after day after day, and nobody understands me, and my parents don't understand me. I was by Reb Gershon Edelson Shlita Shiva Panovich Zalzayin Gesund. He's like, he's old. He's like 98. So I was there a few years ago. He was old then also. And I said, what about mental illness? And right away he told me, yeah, kids who feel that, Mahatish Kantata, Mahatish Kamama, kids who feel that they don't have parents, that's, that makes them mentally ill. He didn't even address true mental illness and, and, and hereditary and all of that. And I haven't seen it. I mean, we have hundreds of kids who were diagnosed with severe mental illness, bipolar even, and other stuff. And the parents... Mm -hmm. Parents who are here, and a year or two or three later, all of a sudden diagnoses just disappear, disappear. Even when it looks like nothing's happening, the diagnosis are disappearing. And, and, and to this Zakein Hadar, who just learns his whole life, that's all he does, in Bnei Brak, he knew, diagnosticiously, that, oh, mental illness, you know where that comes from? Feeling that, I don't have parents who like me. It's the worst pain in the world. I don't have parents who like me. Forget about love. Like. You don't like me. Kip told me, I don't have parents who like me. And a few days later, he tried to commit suicide. And he almost did. I'm not likable. If my own parents don't like me, don't, puppies, their parents like them. They go, rrr, rrr, rrr. I don't know, they look like they like them. But my, my mommy and my daddy don't like me is the worst pain. And we say, oh, of course I'll like you. Just listen, just dress the keep. They can't. They're going through a dark patch. They can't. And then we take those kids who were stabbed, who are in so much pain, and then we cause them more pain by looking down at them and making them feel so nothing that they have no choice but to drink. I got a call from a mother. She said, you got to help me. My daughter is 15 years old. She's an alcoholic. She goes, she was still going to school. She goes every day with a cup of water, a bottle of water, but inside is vodka. And at least two times a week, she drinks to the point of passing out. What should I do? We, ha we have to get her to stop drinking. I said, would you rather she does drugs? She says, what are you crazy? I said, oh, so no alcohol and no drugs. Okay, how about a tattoo? She goes, what are you, crazy? I don't want her to get a tattoo. So I get it, I get it. You don't want her to have alcohol. You don't want her to have drugs, no tattoo. I started going through all the bad stuff. I said, your problem is not that she's drinking alcohol. She's escaping. Her problem is not alcohol. Her problem is reality. 
if you can't face reality, you're going to do something. And she's choosing alcohol. What's your choice? Cutting herself? Hurting somebody else? Stealing? Prostitution? That happens also. Everything happens. And it's all because my mother and my father. Now, it's because of pain. It's not your fault. But once, because of the pain, they don't behave well. And then, that's what he told me. They feel, I don't have parents. It's so painful. You saved your daughter, not from getting drunk that night and drinking, from needing it more than being able to have taste buds. You gave her Bechira. You gave her that, yeah, all my friends are getting drunk. I'm going to go. I'm going to get drunk. You even offered to bring donuts. You ordered to bring donuts, which drunk people like, or I would roll pillows so if your head hits the floor, it doesn't hurt. You, you did what you needed to do. And all the therapists and all the people say, What? You crazy? You offered to take her to the party? Like, what's your other option? You tie her up? These are her friends. They're getting together. What are the other options that work? And she came home sober because the taste that, that they all think is yuck. She didn't need to force down her throat because I have a mother and a father. This is what the world is getting wrong. I have a kid who's getting drunk. Oh, don't give them money. Don't give them money and tie down their hands and feet. And then, oh, I solved your problem. Oh, now she's cutting. Oh, hide all metal. Anybody has cutters? Take what? Take the, lock. take the lock off the door. You're playing defense. How about take away her pain? How about take away her feeling that I don't have a mother and a father who like me so that way she doesn't want to hurt herself and she doesn't need to cut herself. And she doesn't need to get drunk, and they don't need to do drugs. And this is why we have most of our kids that get clean without rehab. I'm not against rehab. We just don't need it. If you need it, you need it. Today we have a parent uh, yesterday on the Zoom call worldwide. Their daughter said, I want to go to rehab. I'm like, great. She wants to go. Send her. But not against her will in the middle of the night with the white coats. You ever try that stuff for a hundred and how much did you pay? Close to 30000 a month for how long for this nice vacation? Two years. Okay, you know what we could do with the one thirty thousand. Just give me 30000 And with the KIPP Fund's help, what we could do to save a kid's life. So you, you're giving your kid options. I don't need to do this. It doesn't taste good for anyone, but they don't have a choice. They have to. Your daughter does not have to because you changed your house to be a house that she wants to be in. Ashrecha. When did you start? Four months. You get newbie award. We're both coming to see you. That's fine.